All right, hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And uh, we've only got a few more places to go. Where do I want to go? Oh, this level's fun. Jet Stingray. This is the guy that uh, destroyed the Sky Lagoon, killing uh, many thousands of people in the process. So we don't like him. And what's cool about this is this is a ride chaser stage. We get to ride this uh, bike. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is an auto-scrolling stage, so you do have to keep up. Uh, I'll show you what the dash does in a little bit. It does that. You can also uh, slice enemies with the bottom of the uh, bike when you dash. I miss the heart tank. That is not acceptable. Neither is dying, really, but uh, missing the heart tank. Definitely not acceptable. Uh, you cannot charge your weapon through here, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so don't jump at this next one. Excellent. And there are a few places where I really like the dash through there. Those platforms will explode if you uh, land on them. Whoa, that was close. And everything gets kind of explodey, and we're in the second half of the stage. Ready. Now this half of the stage, this is where Jet Stingray will start to follow us. We actually get to see the Maverick before uh, he comes out, and if you use that uh, bottom of the bike slash that I was telling you about, you can uh, actually get him off here. If you don't, uh, he'll kind of harass you, and that's never a good thing. He'll be coming up again, uh, regardless if you took him out. And if you time a, uh, if you time that right, you can take him out again, and you can take yourself out. Ready. So it's a very fast-paced and uh, kind of fun stage. I'm almost dead too. That's not a good thing. The thing is difficult is. Uh, you don't really get life energy going through here. I'm trying to pick up the... Uh, there's obviously another thing to pick up, because why wouldn't there be on such a difficult stage? Uh, you don't really have health that you get to pick up. Where's the other thing to pick up? Ah, it's here. Use a dash, and you have to time it just right. Ooh. And uh, that gets us our other sub-tank. There's no health to pick up until there, so you can also take a lot of damage and end up dying that way, too. Because there's no real ways to refill your health going through there. And Jet Stingray doesn't say anything relevant. We don't have time for that. And Jet Stingray, also really difficult to battle. That was rude. battle him correctly. He's, uh, yeah. Okay, that guy on the bottom. What you need to do is, uh, use a charge shot to get through. Shoot his little stingray friends. That's how you battle this guy without... Still has a stingray friend down there. Stop having a stingray friend. All right, I'm gonna meet you back at the boss. Welcome back. That actually didn't take too long because uh, we got to start at the halfway mark when you select continue, which is nice. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, even if you're using small charged attacks, use the uh, charge 
shot and just line it up with his stingrays. Come on, launch your stingrays. Because it's really uh, those little stingrays that come out that will uh, bother you a lot. And as long as you get rid of him, he's not too bad to fight with just the Buster. This was one of the other uh, challenging guys. And he'll go down there and do a uh, Dustman vacuum thing. And now he has red stingrays when he has low health which I think are more annoying because they don't uh, travel all the way to the wall. They can uh, start raining down on you. Uh, if you're under the water, they can just rain down wherever your position is. So do be mindful of that. We got Ground Hunter. I wonder what it does. Oh, of course, it's effective against uh, ground-based enemies. It also turns us a color very similar to the Rolling Shield from uh, Mega Man X, which was another ground-based weapon.